So I did my project this week on the molar liar illusion. Um, so what is the molar liar illusion? So basically, it is an optical illusion that consists of three stylized arrows. These arrows consist of straight line segments, all of equal length, and the fins protrude from the end of the shaft. The point of it was when viewers are asked to place a mark on the figure at the midpoint, they tend to place it more towards the tail end of the arrow instead of actually in the midpoint. This illusion was devised by Franz Karl Muller Leier. He was a German sociologist and this was put out in 1889. The lines with the two tails is perceived to be longer than the lines with the two heads. So that means that when you look at it, normally a person is given the, only the top three. Um, the lines with the two heads is looks longer than the ones with the two tails. So all the line segments are actually the same length, but um, they're all the same length, but when you... So I did my project this week on the molar liar illusion. Um, so what is the molar liar illusion? So basically, it's an optical illusion that consists of three stylized arrows. Each of these arrows consists of a straight line segment, and all three of them are equal length, and the fins protrude from the end of the line. When viewers are asked to place a mark on the figure at the midpoint, they tend to place it more towards the tail end. This was devised by Franz Karl Muller Leier. Uh, he was a German sociologist in 1889. And it was found that the lines with the two tails was perceived to be longer than the line with the two heads, even though the lines were the same size. So typically a person is given just the top three arrows up here. Um, all the lines are actually the same length, but by the way that the tail ends are shaped, make it seem like some lines are longer or shorter than others. So the line with the two tails, the one in the middle, is seen to be longer because of the way that it's shaped in relation to the arrow with the two heads um, where on the top. So there's been a lot of very, um, research done to figure out why there is such variation in the perception of this illusion. Um, and it was found that indigenous people of the Australian Murray Island were less susceptible than Europeans. And in a later study, it was found that European and American city dwellers in particular were more susceptible to this illusion. So through all the research, they found that basically people in different cultures differ substantially on their susceptibility to the molar wire illusion. Another hypothesis that was brought forward that differed from uh, comparing cultures was looking at the biology of the eye, and they found that the density of the pigmentation in the eye is related to the susceptibility. Um, research is still being conducted today, and the most current studies being done are on pigeons and parrots. Thank you.